Good morning, dear students in grade 11 in Mushtama Bright School. How are you? Our lesson today is a speaking 6B. Let's start with our school vision. To prepare creative with educated students who are able to establish the lives that we are reserved in society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. Innovation is a value of the mind. And volunteering is a value of the week. Open your student book. Page number 91. Speaking. Working groups, turn to page 158 in the speaking activity section and do activity 6B. Let's go. Here is page 158. How will D you know your classmates? You will play again. The aim of this game is to predict how one of your classmates would behave in a certain situation. One member of each group sits apart from the group. Each group chooses a situation from those below. Then the group discusses how the missing member of the group would react in the situation based on her character and write down the prediction. When all groups have finished, the missing members of each group are asked how they would react in the particular situation. If their group's prediction is correct, the group scores a point. Once all the situations have been discussed, the group with the most points wins. Here are the situations. You are a taxi driver. A passenger has left a bag with 15 thousand Qatari real in your cup. The bag has a name but no address. What would you do? Two, you neglected to study for your math exam. From where you are sitting, you can see the best student's test paper. What would you do? Three, you have inherited a lot of money. Your inheritance is 20 million Qatari real. You can now have everything you ever dreamed of. What would you do? Four, you have been offered a high paying job. The job involves moving abroad, where you would be away from family and friends. What would you do? Five, you are doing group project and noted that one of your members of your group is not applying herself. What would you do? Six, you made plans with a friend that you haven't seen in a while, but something more interesting has come up. What would you do? Seven, your boss has asked you to choose between two candidates from a position in the firm. One of the candidates is your best friend. However, the other candidate has better qualifications. What would you do? Here, to make speculating or guessing or to predict what do you think he or she would do? How would she or he react? He or she would probably and go on complete because he or she tends to incomplete. He or she would never complete with infinitive. Perhaps she or he might plus infinitive. He or she adores or hates whatever verb plus ing, so he would or she would plus infinite. She or he is bound or likely or sure to plus infinite. He or she will definitely plus infinite. I wouldn't be surprised if she verb in the past form. If he or she had a choice, he or she would plus infinite. If I wear him, I would. Uh, if I wear her, I would plus infinite. To express agreeing, you are absolutely right. 
I think so too. I don't think so either for disagreeing. You have a point. That's a good point. Very true. I couldn't agree more. I was just thinking that. So all of these expressions are used for expressing agreement. For expressing disagreement, that's different. I disagree. I don't agree with you. That's not entirely true. I'm not so sure about that. On the contrary, and put your excuse, I don't think so. I think you're wrong about that. That doesn't sound like him or her. To describe a personality for giving justification. From what I know, he or she complete. Judging from her past behavior, I think and complete. It's in her DNA or it's in her nature too and complete. He or she is described here at heart. Deep down, I believe she is and complete. So it's your turn, dears, to try it. For example, take one of these situations and one student will ask about speculating or predicting for the reaction. When she mentions the reaction, you can agree or you uh, can disagree with her. Till now, we have ended our lesson today. Thank you for your kind attention and your listening. See you next lesson, inshallah.